Today we are talking about something that is making a lot of headlines, especially in the last few, the last week or yeah. so, I'd say. Uh, Dr. Jen joining us to talk about this. Federal regulators are actually looking at the potential hazards linked to gas stoves. So two key words in what you just said, Rhiannon, potential and linked. Right now, and I agree with you, this kind of came out of nowhere in the, in the health and medical and public health arena that there may be an association keyword association between exposure to gas stoves and childhood asthma. I was telling you as a doctor, this really kind of came out of nowhere because there's been very limited studies published in the peer reviewed medical literature thus far that suggest that that could be an association or a causative factor in childhood asthma. Um, it feels at this point like it's more of a political, societal story than a medical one. But of course, uh, the Consumer Safety uh, Commission and federal regulators are looking at it, whether or not it's something that is such a strong link that they may then need to regulate it, and a lot of people vo verbalizing strong opinions on both sides. And Rhiannon mentioned this in the uh, dressing room there, gas fireplaces. Yeah, you know, I think when we look at childhood asthma, the rates are clearly going up, um, you know, and they are linked with pollution, living in urban settings, certainly smoke exposure in the house. These gas stoves can liberate carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide, not good for us to breathe in. But again, whenever you're talking about a toxic exposure, you need frequency, you need dose. Where are these children? Are they standing in the kitchen by the stove? So there are a lot of unanswered questions at this point. A lot of questions still, mm -hmm. Dr. Jen. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.